Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to set up and install GeoServer on Windows Server 2019 in AWS. First of all, you need to come to this page of AWS Marketplace for this image. I'll put the link in the description of this video. With this image, you will get all those things that you need in terms of your GeoServer in your Windows Server 2019. Everything will be pre-installed and available. Click on continue to subscribe. Now from here, click on continue to configuration. Now it will allow us to configure it. Click on launch and leave everything as it is in here. Now scroll down in terms of choose action. Click on this drop down arrow and from here click on launch through EC2. Now click on launch and now it will open our AWS management. And here it opens EC2 management console and from here what we'll do we'll create an instance now you can name your instance anything I'll name it as geo server scroll down and then in terms of your key pair click on this option either you can choose an existing one or you can create a new one let's say if you create a new one from here name it anything and from here select dot pem option click on key pair and it will download a file you will need to have this downloaded file so it's better if you create a new one or use the one that you have already available i have already available with the name of zubair then click on launch instance and here it says launching instance it will take few seconds so we'll wait for it now we are done with this one Click on view all instances. Here it is. Here is our GeoServer instance and it is pending and it is initializing. We'll wait for it until and unless it is running and it has status as two by two checks. So we'll wait for it and then we'll move ahead. We are done here and it is running. Now right click here and click on connect. Click on get password. So if you remember, I told you that we'll need our key file. So just click on choose file. And here I have my key. Double click on it. And now I'll decrypt my password. Now, remember all these things. We'll need them to connect to our remote desktop server. Now, first of all, search for remote desktop connection. Hit enter. And in here, we need to pass our public DNS. So I'll just copy this from here and I'll just paste it. Now click on connect. In terms of username, right here, administrator, the same one that you have here. And in terms of password, just copy this. Now paste it in here and click on OK. If everything is OK, it will prompt you with something like this. Click on yes, and it will open your remote session with your Windows Server 2019. Here it is. It is opening it up. Let it get opened and then we'll move ahead. We are back. Now we need to start our server. So for that purpose here, you will see a file with the name of start geo. Just double click on it and it will open your command prompt in order to start your server. It will take a little bit of time. So we'll wait for it and then we'll move ahead. We are done here with this one as it is started. Now we need to open our web browser to log in into the web management page of our Geo server. So I'll just double click on this file or icon that is given onto the desktop or you can always open your Internet Explorer and you can follow the address as it says localhost colon 8080 slash Geo server slash web. I'll just close this one. Now from here, we need to log in into this one. First of all, in terms of username, we have to write here admin and in terms of password, you need to go back to your instance. So here is my instance. I'll just double click on it and from here, copy its instance ID. So if you click on your instance, it will show all the details related to it. Under the description, you will see this instance ID. Just copy it and then paste it into your password. Now click on login and here we are. We are into our geo server. So here we have different services that are available and we can perform different things. For example, here it says it belongs to ancient geograph. Down here we have number of layers, stores and workplaces. In case if you want to add more, you can always do so. 
with these link if you see on the left side here we have different sections for example we have data section in which we have layer previews workspaces we can always go for stores and some other things then we have services section then we have settings and in case if you want to see where are the people or groups users down here under the security section here we have user groups roles if i just click on this one it will open this one for me so here i have services then i have user and groups and then we have roles in case if you want to add some more users click on this one if you want to remove someone you can always do so and if you want to remove selected and remove role association as well you can also do that so here we have all those services that are needed in terms of using and performing sophisticated operations with geo servers and that brings us to the end of this video if you have anything to ask leave a comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible and don't forget to check out the page for step-by-step -step guide on how to set up install geo server on windows server 2019 in aws and also don't forget to check the image on the marketplace and the links are given in the description if this video was of any help to you please leave a like and subscribe to our channel i'll get back to you in the next video